All right, so a number of festival goers at Travis Scott's ill-fated Astro World concert are suing Scott and Drake. Now, those behind the lawsuit are alleging that the two rappers incited the crowd. Eight people were killed, dozens more injured over the weekend in Houston when the crowd surged toward the stage during the concert. Now, Drake is being accused of continuing to perform with Scott as the crowd went out of control. Now, this is just Heartbreak. terrible, terrible. It is. Right. I mean, terrible. reading the stories of the survivors in there, just hearing all of the chaos. Mm -hmm. I mean, seeing a 14-year-old boy, a 16-year-old girl die, mm -hmm. a 10-year-old still critical. Mm -hmm. It's just, and, and they talked about the crowd and right. how people saw other people in distress. And some people stepped in and performed CPR, and other people just continued to trample over them. So right. I, 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 I'm, I'm not sure that, that, that you can hold the artist responsible. I mean, maybe it was a lack of security and everything else, but I, I don't know, 50,000 people is a whole lot to contain. I don't right. know. Right. And I did hear that Drake actually, not Drake, I'm sorry, Travis Scott actually tried to stop. I, right. I, like, he stopped several times, and he said, look, we gotta, you know, we gotta stop, people need help. Um, and people were yelling, stop the show. I just, I guess I'm just so disappointed at the stories that I'm hearing. Then I'm hearing somebody was going around injecting people. Yeah. And I, one of the security people were injected with something. This is insane. This is, I, I, I have never seen this in our, I guess, our generation right. at this time. Yeah. Uh, you know, it, it's just, it reminds me of those mosh pits. You remember those mosh pits back in the day? I know we were talking about this earlier, Brandy. Like, when you're in a mosh pit, and you're just like, people are like, going around and like, inciting some kind of like, riot. They're like, pushing you back and forth. I don't know. I don't like the sound of this. And I hope something comes of this. I hope we learn a lesson from this. This is terrible. I would never want to see this. It is. Millie, what do you, what do you think? I mean, I know we've all followed this, right? Since these reports came out over yeah. the weekend. Yeah, I agree with you. Um, I don't know if you can really blame, you know, uh, Travis Scott and Drake, um, but I've been on TikTok lately, and a lot of people seem to be blaming blaming them. And then people yeah. are pulling up clips of Travis Scott, like, you know, at different concerts where he was like, you know, he like kicked someone off, a, a worker off, like for no reason, like cursed them mm -hmm. out. and was like, wow. get, that, get off the stage. Like, you know, so I... A lot of people, I think, do seem to think that, you know, also he apparently tweeted saying that in May or something that, you know, even though the concert was sold out, they were still going to be telling people, like, mm -hmm. still, still encouraging people to run into the concert. Mm -hmm. So I don't, you know, I, I don't know. I don't know if it, I don't think it's right. looking good for him at right. all, honestly. And what do you do? Because you you're know? told to just keep performing if something goes wrong. So I kind of see And here's the interesting too. thing, too. Right. It, the, the, on TikTok, they're also showing... Lincoln Park, when there was a concert, mm -hmm. they and they saw people in distress. They they were like, "Stop the concert!" Exactly. Stop the concert. And yeah, so that's the and, thing. And they were able to stop it. Come on. Right. I it. wonder. So he he stopped for, when he saw an ambulance coming through. He seemed right. really confused. But I don't know how close to him everything was. And then it said right. that right. like when the real crush happened, it happened like quickly. But I mean, we've seen the video of the young lady climbing up to the to the lighting yeah. guy, telling yeah. him to stop. It just seems like. A lot it's of people. It's devastating. Just, it's yeah. just, it's yeah. heartbreaking, but yeah. All right, well, what do we want yeah. you to tell it? Do you blame the two rappers for inciting mayhem at the concert? You can vote now on our website, foxbaltimore.com slash vote. Now, once you get to the website, make sure you click on the lifestyle tab. You can also vote on our Fox 45 News app. And at the end of the show, we'll see what everyone thinks. All right, so Green Bay quarterback Aaron Rodgers lost his first sponsorship over his controversial decision not to be vaccinated against COVID-19. Now, he'd been a spokesperson for the Wisconsin-based primary care since 2012. Now, while he claims he's not a COVID denier, the company says they encourage all eligible populations to be vaccinated. So, mm. um, I mean, no surprise there. Mm. I don't have anything nice look, to say look, about look. that. So go ahead. Say, Lady T, I don't you have go. anything to say nice. I was like, girl, I was about to quote Avon, okay? He's a liar <laughs> and a cheater, a deceiver, heartbreaker. I was like, what is he, he what are you lying for, sir? Like, just be honest. I, I just, he deserves, to, his sponsors deserve to be dropped. And you know what? I'm an Aaron Rodgers fan, so this kind of made me think separately of him. I don't like the fact that he kind of lied about having, like, getting the vaccine, and now you get, it's all over well, the place. He messed horse meds to cure mm, his COVID. Right. So, yeah, and not, but not only is he lying, he's spreading misinformation. He was yes, saying exactly. that the back, he's worried about fertility issues when the CDC said that there's no such, there's That's no right. such side effect. You better so preach. he's also spreading misinformation, encouraging other people not mm -hmm. to get vaccinated. And he's following Joe Rogan, who's like big anti-vax. So like, I, mm. you know, I, I, again, with like you, I don't have anything nice to say. Right. You know? There's nothing. There you yeah, go. I, I, I think yeah. it was what happened afterwards mm. um, that that is the reason for the sponsorship um, thing. So, you know, 
Go Ravens. Go Ra I was about to say, we going to the ship, y'all. We going to the ship. Bye. All right. Well, this weekend, most of us got an extra hour of our day back, right? Daylight saving time ended on Sunday. So mm -hmm. if you haven't already, you have to move those clocks back an hour. Now, in March, almost every state extends its daylight hours. Hawaii and most of Arizona skipped the concept, though. 70 countries around the world also observe daylight saving time, some calling it summer hours. So... Mm -hmm. It was certainly nice. Listen, I had no problem waking up this morning. 5.45, boom, I was awake what? before the alarm. Well, yeah, because that's really like 6.45, right? So, right. but 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 I, I don't like it being dark mm -hmm. at like 4.30 yeah. in the afternoon, right? Oh, so, I had yeah. big issues. Let me tell you how I only got two hours of sleep last night, okay? My body never adjusted to daylight savings <laughs> time, okay? I tried everything. I slept like this, that, uh, I was doing everything just to try to get to sleep. This is horrible. And I just want to have a quick talk with Mother Nature <laughs> if y'all see her. I don't think it's fair. I, I, I don't feel like I gained an hour. I lost half a night's worth of sleep, Mother Nature. Do better, sis. <laughs> okay. No, I think it's interesting. You, Brittany. <laughs> 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 yeah, it's crazy. All right, well. I thought it was interesting that they said 20, there's 20% 20 more heart attacks the day after daylight savings times. Like this Monday, there's supposed to be 20% more heart attacks today. Crazy. Oh, really? Because of, yeah, it was just crazy. So I would get some sleep if I had a heart attack? Because I feel like that would have no, helped a little no, bit, honestly. It no. gave me a little bit of a nap or something. I'm so tired, Maybe a lot of people are like you, that they can't sleep. <laughs> I couldn't sleep. I was up, and I slept in until 12. I almost missed church, let's be clear. I had to go to the later service, but this is the whole, it's a different thing. I'm sorry. All right. All right. Well, thanks, lady. Hope you get that hour back tonight, lady. <laughs> All right, well, we have a whole lot